It's Maya's eighth birthday. about today, Maya? I'm turning eight. It's Maya's eighth birthday. I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, Jason's been saying she's turning seven today because we just can't believe you're actually turning eight. <laughs> <laughs> we found Maya's birth announcement. I went into her baby book this morning and found it. Look how tiny you were. <laughs> but actually she was a pretty good sized baby. You were seven pounds, 15 ounces, and you were 20 and one half inches long. And Maya was born on December 2nd at 6.26 a.m. in Scottsdale, Arizona. But this was the birth announcement that we sent out after she was born. And on the back it says, family of four, because she made us a family of four. Although now we're a family of five. Or maybe we could say six if you count Sandy over here. Sandy has been sporting this party hat all morning. She's a good sport. Hey Sandy, say hi. Got your party hat on. Hi guys. It's Maya's birthday. Do you want to go up and some birthday presents? Yes! <laughs> Which one are you gonna open first? Addie's. Addie's. So, okay, these are from Addie. Happy birthday, Maya. And she made you a cute card. I hope you have a great eighth birthday. I love you, Maya. Have a wonderful day, Addie. Addie had a very specific vision for what she wanted to give Maya for her birthday, and she used her own money. And I have to say that Addie is a very thoughtful gift giver. She really pays attention to what people like and to little clues into what they're into. And I think Maya's really gonna like this because it was very thoughtful. Oh, this one! Oh yes, I saw this before! So this is like a little planner, but there's a purpose for it, Maya, that Addie had in mind. So you gotta open the other present. Oh, it's um, you love face painting. Maya loves to face paint, but we don't have face paint, so she usually gets washable markers, and she colors little puppy dog faces on herself and Colin, so now she can have a legit face painting set. Yeah. This was supposed to be used for keeping all the pictures of your face painting in place. It can be like your little face painting portfolio. Yeah. Oh! Yes! Face painting! In this book, I can copy these steps on how to do it. You're right. Let me go get my old one that showed my book of face painting. There's a dog. <laughs> There's your puppy picture. There's a cat. A cat. And then just a little tattoo thing. I like it. And then Colin Spider-Man. Yep. So now you can have a real portfolio to keep, Maya, for all your yes! face Okay, this one's from Mommy and Daddy and Colin. Booty shake! Booty shake and lava! Yeah! Oh, there it goes. <laughs> People often ask us, what do we get our kids for birthdays and Christmas? Because with our job, Tic Tac Toy, we get a lot of toys and that's a really good question. But what I try to explain to people is that we really do a pretty good job of keeping our business toys separate from the toys that the kids have access to and the kids get to play with. So this Booty Shaking Llama is a great example. We actually have a Booty Shaking Llama that was in our basement for about six months with all of our Tic Tac toy toys. And Maya was eyeballing it for a while, but she knew that that's a business toy so we couldn't play with it. So when she really wanted one, she asked for it for her birthday and she actually got a different one for her birthday. The one that was in our basement as part of our Tic Tac toy collection is off limits and it was actually just donated um, with the rest of our toys to foster care kids. So. We really try to separate business toys from kids' toys, so that way we don't go crazy with toys everywhere all the time. Next present. Go! Woo! It's a present pack! It's a present pack! It's a present pack! That has been on her list for a while too, hasn't it, Maya? Yes, it has a bow on it. I really yes, want one of these. Pull there. <gasps> This is crazy. <laughs> Whoa. I don't understand how this is happening. 
commenting like, how does it just do that? I know. It is unboxing itself. Ah! Oh! Probably the coolest unboxing experience I've ever seen with a toy. She's so cute, Maya. Yeah. This is Queenie. Oh. Queenie. Is Queenie. And who's that? Booty shaking. Booty shaking llama. Her name is Can I go change real quickly? Yes, ma'am. Oh, there's Princess Maya. With Queenie. With Queenie. I love it. You doing a fashion show up for us? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful girl. I love it. <laughs> hey, birthday girl. Yeah? What are we getting ready to go do right now? Go play with alpacas. Alpacas? Are you excited about that? Yeah. I was trying to find something different, a little out of the ordinary to do for Maya's birthday that would still be special. And I found this place called Mistletoe Farms in Franklin, Tennessee. And they have alpacas. And you could just go and pay to play with them for a half hour or an hour. And I thought that sounded kind of like fun. Say hi to Savannah, Colin. Hi, Savannah. After we gave Maya the booty shaking llama for her birthday, I thought alpacas are kind of similar to llamas and that could be kind of a fun thing to do. So they all have their own unique names, Maya. And Maya, what was one of them named? Savannah and Lucy. Lucy, there's Lucy out here. Is there a Maya out here? Probably not. Oh, we have a Maya. oh there is a Maya? Yeah, she's what? not here right now though. Oh. Are you making some friends, Addy? They do have fluffy heads, don't they? They said they shear them once a year. Oh, just need a pet up. <laughs> she wants to give you a kiss, I think. <laughs> oh, did you kiss Colin on the, on the head? No. He kissed your head. Did you kiss him back? No. <laughs> she kissed you again. They have 19 alpacas on the farm right now. We are hanging with the females and the babies right now. The males are in a totally different place. We're not gonna get to hang out with them today. They're apparently a little rambunctious. She compared them to teenage boys, so have a lot more energy, and we'll probably hang with the females and the babies because they're a little bit calmer. Happy mama booty shaking llama. You remember the booty shaking llama? Are they like the booty shaking llama? Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like them, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? Do you want to take one home for your birthday, Maya? No. No? There's no room. Put it in our backyard. What? <laughs> no? We don't even have a fence. They're going to run off. <laughs> Addie, they're all running away from you. Nobody wants your hay. Nobody wants it. We just want fresh hay. <laughs> I was looking up the difference between llamas and alpacas, and alpacas are usually smaller, llamas are bigger, and they have different facial, the way they're structured, plus alpacas have a little bit more, um, I guess, fleece, or I don't think it's fur, but they have more fluff on them. actually have some fun experience with llamas, but not alpacas. Where did we have a bunch of llama experience, Jason? We went to Peru years and years ago. Peru, right? and we climbed Machu Picchu. It was how many days of a hike? Three, four days? Four nights. Four nights. Days. And we had llamas that actually helped carry 
all of our stuff up. They're like porters for us. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So llamas are bigger than alpacas. They're used to carry loads, but alpacas are too small for that. Did you get an alpaca to hug you? Mm -hmm. Is this a pretty cool birthday outing? Yeah. Very different, isn't it? Yes. But super fun. Yes. Say bye bye, alpacas. It's my birthday. Bye bye, everyone. Great time seeing you. It's my birthday. Cupcake time. Okay. We've got funfetti, like a mint chocolate chip one, and a cheat day brown or brownie cupcake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maya. Happy birthday to you. going for a chocolate one chocolate cheat day yeah yum, yum, yum. well on the bottom there's a ton of sprinkles it's like a surprise so how fun were the alpacas so fun guess what i got a birthday present they did they gave you the cutest little here was and it's um, made from alpaca fur i think right Maybe? yeah i think i can't remember i don't know but um her name is savannah i got to pet savannah yeah, so I thought the alpaca farm, mistletoe farm, would be fun, but it was actually way more fun than I even anticipated. So I think we're definitely gonna be going back and maybe next time we'll do the hour session instead of the half hour session and have some more time with the cute furry fuzzballs. separate because the frosting is so good I don't want to have it with the cupcake. Oh, okay I thought you were gonna just leave it there. It's no good I would like to never wait. do that. Like that frosting <laughs> is too good. <laughs> Down here. We've moved on to face painting time. Yep. What are you painting on Eddie's face Maya? Um a winter princess. A winter princess. The kit that Addie got Maya is actually pretty cute. It has this whole little booklet with tons of different ideas and all the steps for um, various face painting designs. Colin has actually left for his weekly swim class with Jason, so we figured now would be a good time to break out the face paints and let the girls get used to it and get their skill down a little bit because I have a feeling when he gets home and he sees both of their faces painted, he's gonna wanna get in on it too. What do you think you will do for Colin's face? Um, I think he may want like, mm, maybe a pirate or something, I don't know. My, do you feel like you're eight years old now? No. Do you feel different? No. Not a bit, tiny bit? Kind of a bit. Finished product, let's see Addie, that actually looks really good. I know, it looks so Maya, good. you might have a new career. <laughs> Wanna start doing kids birthday parties? Yeah. <laughs> you might be up for hire now. Yeah! By comparison, I actually think yours looks even better than the model, Addie. Yes! Alright, your turn to do puppy on Maya now. Is there a puppy picture in there, Maya? Yes! There it is. Wow, that's pretty cute. That's a lot of detail in there, too. I think Addie can pull it off? I don't know. I think so. Sandy, Maya is kind of looking like you now. She's got a golden face like you have. <laughs> yes, she does. Maybe we need to paint Sandy's face to look like Maya now. Do you want to look like a Maya? Is Maya going to look like a Sandy? What's the cat face for? I have no doggy bones. Oh, no doggy bones. Our neighbor Caroline popped over. Are you going to get your face painted, Caroline? <laughs> it's all down! You look like a cute puppy, Maya. Puppy with no bones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finished work. Caroline has a butterfly. I like it, girly. Yeah, she did the you did a good job. She did the outline and the eyeshadow and the antennas, and I did the color. Time to do mommy's face. Yeah, forget Colin. We're gonna move on and do my face now. I'll wait for Colin to get home. What am I getting? Um, a fairy. A fairy. Let's see. All right, I'm excited, Maya. Yeah, I think it'll look really good. It's really funny looking. I think she 
she's almost done. How does it look? It looks really good. It looks good. We look pretty cool. Yeah. I love it. We're the face paint family. The face paint family. That should be our new YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> I could do face paint tutorials. There you go. Colin's turned out and we have more neighbors joining in. Hey, Clark. What are you getting, Colin? Are you getting Batman? Oh, here comes Daddy. What are you gonna get, Jason? Oh, I don't know. I like the Batman, though. <laughs> looks pretty good. I'm getting the Batman. Maya's gonna start a face painting business, I think. I think that's a perfect <laughs> job for you, Maya. <laughs> joining us for Maya's birthday. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday, Maya. Happy birthday. Happy now what do we birthday. say? XOXO.